Welcome to Practically Creative, where we like to do practical projects and we both are almost creative. We're always working on different projects and enjoy sharing them with our friends. So we thought we would like to share them with you. So enjoy. But today we are going to go through how to change a cigar box into a basic I don't want to say a catch-all, but maybe a jewelry box or just a box to put on your dresser. Um, so if you've ever had wooden cigar boxes and need a project to do with them, this could be it. We're going to start with our cigar box, which I did go to a local cigar store. I was with my husband and he was in the humidor and I went up to the guy and asked him if they had any cigar boxes they would like to get rid of. So I um, got three of these wooden boxes for five dollars. I didn't think that was too bad. So we're going to start by cutting our felt. And what's nice about some of these wooden cigar boxes is these pieces slide right out. And that will make it much easier to uh, glue the, the felt on. So we're going to start, I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to lay them on the table so I know how they go back in. And I just wasn't paying attention for that one. And handy dandy tape measure, we're going to measure the inside of our box and it is like nine, oh, like three eighths and we're going to go like six and a half for the bottom felt. And for the sides, we're about nine inches by one and seven eighths. So I'll do two of them at that size. And then this size is like six inches. I, I said two and seven eighths, I really meant one. So we're going to start there. Gonna put this all aside. We've got our felt. We'll lint roll all the dog hair off it before we glue it in. So I like my rotary cutter. Must have for some of your craft ideas. And this piece is, oh, I have plenty of room. So I am going to just kind of straighten it up and we're going to make a straight edge cut and then we're going to go nine and three eighths. These boards are very nice because they actually have marks for your measurement. I hope I'm doing this right. Well, we'll see. We have plenty of other felt if I didn't. Okay, so that's nine and three eighths. Now I need to do six and a half. So I'm going to do that nice and even. I'm going to start again on this edge. And we're going to go six and a half. Again, very nice to have the marks on these boards. All right, so this should be for my base. So let's pull that back over here and just make sure it fits in. See if you need to do a little trimming at all. I think that. That fits in really nice there. So we'll leave that there and now we will do our small pieces. So I need two of them by nine and one and seven eighths and I believe this is just over nine. So I am going to cut Excess off. Ooh, 
very nice. Right, so there's my nine. So I need to make two of them at one and seven eighths. All right, there is one and seven eighths. It's probably five eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. One and we're going to double check it. That fits on there very well. We might have to do a little trimming. And we'll do another one at one and seven eighths. We need two of them that are six by one and seven eighths. So we're just going to take this piece we had cut at nine and we're going to take it down to six. And one seven eight. So I'm sure we'll be fast forward or forwarding through a lot of this because you all know how to cut. All right, so that should be it for the cutting. So we are going to put all this aside. So now we're going to take our box. double check and I think that will be good as is. So I am going to a little bit of lint rollering ah, just to clean it up. And the glue that I'm going to use is just a Mod Podge that I um, picked up at Hobby Lobby. So you want to make sure your, your box, you've got all the tobacco out of that. I have a paper towel. I'm going to use a big a big brush to spread the Mod Podge out. Ooh. So we're going to take that and we're going to just put it on the base of the box. This is real simple. Easy project. We thought it'd be an easy, a nice one to start with. We're always looking for different things to do, different crafts to do. Nothing better than getting together with a group of a group of girls and we all sit around and do crafts. And this would be a very easy one um, to have a group over. So now we're gonna do our best to place this inside the box. And there's plenty of time to, oops, don't want to get glue on it, to smooth it out. And what's also nice about this is you've got, these pieces are actually gonna go on top of this bottom felt. So I think that's in a good place. So now we are going to work on getting all of these glued. I want to sort of keep them in their respective places. Maybe I'll sit down for this. All right, so I'm going to double check. I see this one might have the corner pop out a little bit. I tried to remember everything I might need before I sat down to do this. There, just nip that little end off. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take, take the glue, spread it out on the wood. Make sure to get your corners. Obviously the one I, I showed you when we started, I had made already. And the thing that I um, 
my corners I didn't get enough glue on. So now I know with this one to kind of pay more attention to that. So that's always the benefit. If you're going to do something with a group, sometimes it helps to do one on your own first. Ah, I think I have glue on that, so I'm going to flip it over, pull the dog hair off. All right, so we're just gonna place this on your edges. Now the edges of these um, sides are kind of tapered, so you don't want your felt to go um, onto the tapered portion because otherwise it won't fit back in the box. So there's one. And you basically just do this for all four of these. And I've seen other videos, of course you YouTube everything you wanna do, and it's a wonderful thing. Uh, for most of the projects I do, um, I watch three or four YouTube videos and I, and I take what I want out of each video um, to enable me to do the craft the way I want it to be done. I know some of them get really fancy with their boxes and you know bling them up on the outside or they cover the cigar box um, all together with paper and stuff but I'm kind of a fan of just the cigar box I like I like that look there so once we get those all all on press down on your corners all right, so now we are going to the moment of truth. I'm going to stand back up, and we're going to put all these pieces back in the box. See, there's a little glue on the top there, but we'll just wipe that off. Easy. Okay, the last one. Uh, this was a hard one to get in. I should have started with this one, so we're going to do this. Put that one in. And I'm going to finish up with this one. There we go. See? So we have just completed our box. It has a little clasp on it. And you can just put this on a, maybe a man's dresser for his watch, whatever your man likes to wear, um, or for kids, or anything. There we go. It's for my husband. We'll put it on his dresser. He can put his watch in there every single night or his glasses because it's felt. It's very soft. It's not going to scratch anything. So there you have it. The end of our first video. Thank you very much for watching. We hope to continue doing these practically creative projects and sharing them with you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.